What's up, Cincy fans? It's Patricia, and today I have some first sniffs for you for The Harvest, the new Disney Frightfully Delightful, and the new releases that are coming in the fall and winter 2023 Scentsy catalog. I just want to preface this by saying first sniffs to me, it's not that they're not important, but I only find them a tiny bit important because really it's all about the warming. So what I'm going to be doing is warming all of these fragrances, plus I'll be adding the Friends fragrance and the new uh, Disney Princess fragrance and the Scent of the Month fragrance. I'm going to be adding those all into Tester Tuesday and it'll probably take about six weeks to get through them all. I'll definitely warm more than two each week. I'll aim between three and four each week, but it's just going to take a while to cycle through all these scents because there's so many of them. So in those videos, I do go into more detail in terms of longevity, strength, thoughts, what areas you should warm it, everything. So definitely stay tuned for those in the coming weeks. But let's go into the Harvest Collection first. Now you'll notice... <laughs> I have started warming three of these bars. So three of these bars I have smelled. And the reason is, is I, I randomly drew from, I think, 15, 16 cents for Tester Tuesday. Three were new release scents and three were harvest. And I'm gonna warm three of them because I got these really late in the week. And guess what? All three were from the harvest collection. So that's what we're warming. So we're gonna discuss those first. So the first, scent that we're going to go through is cashmere leaves and I have my little note here and I did look them up and Sensi has put categories for each one. So cashmere leaves is this beautiful, it, it's almost like a maroon brown but it looks more brown in the lighting here today and it's almost like a brick red brown colored wax. Sensi has put this in the fruity category. The scent description says apple, falling leaves, and cashmere spice. I don't know if I should probably read the full description, but these are just the notes. So, apple, falling leaves, and cashmere spice. Let me just look up on my app, iPad and see if it's different. Okay, I did look up on my iPad. They're actually different, so maybe I'll cross-reference them both. I should say, if you order in the five-pack bundle, they will provide this special little bag, and it says, no tricks, just treats. <laughs> I'm not going there. Um... In Canada, it's 33, and I believe in the US it's 25, but I'll double check and, and correct myself if I'm wrong. And you can also put, put these bars individually in six pack bundles. All right, let's read cashmere, or let's smell cashmere leaves. Okay, so this is a soft, like demure fruity scent. It's almost like a sophisticated, um, the apple is kind of one of those like, Sweet vanilla, spicy, demure. I say demure, but it's kind of delicate. And I think what's going on is that cashmere is weaving in there. To me, this is not something that would, I don't think it's going to survive a big area, but time will tell. I'll warm it. I'm actually warming this as a trial in Drew's bedroom, which is a very big, challenging medium space, and my bedroom here. So I'll report back. But this one, I was thinking it was going to be an open concept worthy scent by the notes, but no, I think it's, it's a, definitely there's vanilla in there. You can get a very sweet apple that smells a little bit cooked and you can get that delicate aroma of spice and the cashmere doesn't lean body care, but it leans like elegance. I don't know how to explain it, but this one is really nice. I'm surprised that I like this one as much as I do. All right. The next one on the list is Dutch apple bread. So that one actually won easily in Tester Tuesday. So we have my full and I've warmed, I'm warming um, six cubes in my big area and two cubes in Ryan's room. So I wanted to try to pick like, where would I want to put this type of scent? And I tried to put it in a challenging area and a small area. Sometimes I can pick up the notes better in a smaller area. Anyway, <laughs> all right, let's go through this one. It is fresh sliced apple warm cinnamon, rolled oats, and brown sugar. Though the, those are the notes highlighted. And Sensi says, fresh sliced apple, tossed in warm cinnamon, brown sugar, and rolled oats. Okay. Um, this one here, on first sniffs, my brain immediately went to a medley of, like, St. Nickerdoodle with the tiniest bit of, like, honey pear cider. I don't know why. That's what I'm coming up with. <laughs> it's a delicate bakery. It's very like gentle and bright. The apple is gently spiced. It's almost like when you're making applesauce and it's cooked down and cooked down and just you just added just a touch of cinnamon. 
so it's not like that brown apple it's still like a golden kind of beautiful mushy apple yeah and i do make an apple bread it's like a cake and you put little bits of apple my husband really likes it so it kind of does remind me of this actually so this one is in the bakery section it's about a medium shy of medium i would say shy of medium yeah I don't know if it's going to survive the big area, but that's where I'd want to warm this type of scent. So that one is really good. So far, we're doing well. So the next one is Fall Into Love. So this one is, I have my two full bars here. So this one says, fresh orange peel and cool eucalyptus embrace sweet balsam. And since he has highlighted fresh orange peel, cool eucalyptus and sweet balsam. Okay, I mean, that's kind of what you're getting. I'm getting mostly the eucalyptus and the balsam. And it's not aggressive. Oh, on the bottom, it's stronger. On the bottom, it's about a medium, and on the top, it was about a light. I don't know if I'm getting orange peel, but I'm getting something fresh and vibrant in there that's not a balsam and eucalyptus. Yeah, I would definitely say this is a good fresh scent in terms of they put it in the correct category. And something like this, I would think I might want to warm in my entranceway. I think it's just kind of one of those bright, like sometimes when you walk into a home, you want it to feel cozy or you want it to feel, feel fresh, fresh and clean and vibrant. So on the days that I want it to feel a little bit more fresh and vibrant, I would put something like this in. Moving on, we have, what's the next one? Forever Fall. So I have my full and my full. So this one says baked pumpkin and cinnamon stick celebrate the sweetness of the season with a dash of brown sugar. They're loving the brown sugar, I must say. So this one is also in the bakery, but it's more of a, um, like a, like a, well, let's just smell it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this smells like a pumpkin, um, like, this smells like a pumpkin pie filling before you put it in the pie that's gently spiced and it's got a lot of brown sugar. Maybe there's something else mixed in there. Maybe somebody put a little bit of like apple puree in there or something because it doesn't seem as heavy pumpkin as something like a scary good. And it's definitely not as sweet. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I like this one that much, but I'm not a big pumpkin fan. Strength, um, maybe just shy of medium. I must say <laughs> it's early in the morning. My face is all red and blotchy because um, I just jumped out of the shower, dried my hair and came on to film. Yesterday was my daughter's birthday and I'm really struggling because she just turned 18 and lots of things are changing and <laughs> technically she's an adult and I'm just going through some rough times and I looked horrible just from being emotional. So if you're a mom, you know. And if you're a mom to young kids, cherish the time that you have with them. White pumpkin and driftwood, that is in the wood section. So this one actually came in second. So uh, Dutch apple bread, Oh, what was that called? Dutch apple bread came in first, and then we had this one came in second, and then cashmere leaf, leaves came in third. Now, remember, I only drew six cents, so we, we don't have a full medley of what the order is, but this one says white pumpkin driftwood, white cardamom, and warm solar amber. Now, sometimes when I see solar, it makes me think of that scent. Um, there was solar woods, I think, in the one that... Angie really likes the really strong one. <laughs> I'm not going to remember the name because I'm trying so hard. Crisp white pumpkin driftwood burnished with white cardamom and warm solar amber. This is in the woods section. Yes, this is a very um, a masculine leaning, medium level, fresh, um, warm, cozy type of fragrance. I like this. I don't know if I'm going to love it, but I definitely, it's in the middle, middle. It's probably better for me than a, quite a few masculine scents. Not a home run by any means. My hero is definitely my favorite. This is definitely, I can smell pumpkin, I think. And maybe that's why it's kind of a different spin on it. It says white pumpkin. White pumpkin is usually a little more gentle. Driftwood, it's probably giving it the masculine. Then we have white cardamom. Cardamom is kind of like a, a variation of a, a muted pepper. Um, I think that's what I understand. It, it's sometimes like a spice that you can use in bakery. So it's not so peppery that you can't use it in bakery, but it, it gives that little like zinginess um, separate from cinnamon. And solar amber is probably leaning into the masculine body care as well. 
So yeah, this would be good for bedrooms, uh, dens, offices, things like that. It's about a medium intensity. So we'll see how that does. All right, so we're gonna move on. I am gonna do Frightfully Delightful Disney Bar. Here we go. I picked up two of these. This is in the bakery. It says Extraordinary Golden Pumpkin Illuminated with Bright Harvest Peach and Delightful Touches of Whipped Vanilla and Brown Sugar Delivers the Thrills of the Season. <laughs> so long. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to compare this one. I think I like this one better maybe than the, oh, you could definitely get the peach on the bottom. It's It gives it a little brightness. Yeah, Um. so I think I had mentioned already I'm not a huge pumpkin lover. I'm okay with it, but I think that peach is kind of a delicate, um, vibrant characteristic to this scent because it's got the, the creaminess and the brown sugar and the vanilla and the pumpkin, and then you get just a tiny like twist of the peach. And sometimes, because I know it's peach, maybe I'm smelling peach, but I know there's something in there that it's like lifting the scent up just a little. Yeah, this is about a medium to just shy of medium as well. All right, moving on. Now we're gonna talk about new release scents. I'm sorry I'm rambling today, but this is what you're getting. <laughs> so the new release scents, again, are coming September 1st, and we have the catalog and I got this in my order. Now I'm, I'm actually gonna let you know I did take all my customer orders and <laughs> pack them all up. I have two warmers for myself. I have a few scent circles, three car bars and a room spray and that's pretty much it plus some consultant supplies. So let me know below if you want me to do like a tiny, tiny haul but really I picked up a um, prairie pitcher and I kind of peeked and it's so small and um, be happy. So if you wanna see those, let me know. I'll do it like a really short video. All right, now we're going to talk new releases. So the first one is in the fruity category. It's cranberry and cardamom. Love the color. Beautiful red, as you would expect. It says bold cherry and white cranberry mingle in the festive celebration, in a festive celebration with a hint of warm cardamom. So we basically have care, cherry, white cranberry, which white, white cranberry for me is, it reads a little different. Uh, there's another one, What I think... Um, Berry Cosmic Bo Boogie might have white cranberry. And then we have cardamom. Okay, this is fairly light. Let me try the bottom. But it's so far, it's nice and fruity and I like it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like a tangy cranberry scent. The cherry is, is, is I think, changing up the cranberry. But again, I don't know if I know it's cherry, but I know that there's something different going on with this cranberry. I don't think I smell cardamom. Yeah, this is, this is between light and medium for me. So I'm not sure where I'd want to warm this. It doesn't really strike me as a bedroom type of scent, but uh, it, it might need to be a smaller space like a bedroom. So we'll see how it goes. All right, the next one is Dashing. This is a blue wax, very reminiscent of the color blue of Homestead Holiday. So if you know that color, the same. And this one is in the woods category. It says irresistible vanilla and creamy mahogany will leave you uh, swooning under fresh night skies. Oh, I like this, I think. Yeah, I like this. I think if you like Ravenclaw, you're gonna like this. Oh my gosh, I wish I had some Ravenclaw right here. I like this. Um, what Like vanilla, yes, mahogany, um, yes, but not in the overbearing mahogany way. In the fresh night skies, I think that's what I'm getting the most. Like fresh night skies with the vanilla and the mahogany, probably third. Oh, I like this. This is nice. This is really nice. I'm happy about that. All right, fall feeling. There's too many words with fall. We've got fall in the love, forever fall, fall feeling. <laughs> You've got that fall feeling. Oh my gosh, I can't even smell this one. Fresh blood orange and sugared cranberry cozy up with juniper sprigs and a dash of sparkling clove on a perfectly crisp day in the fruity category. Oh my gosh, I can smell it, but it's it's not nearly as strong as I thought. Okay, blood orange is usually strong. Uh, maybe it's there. I shouldn't have smelled these in the morning. I have a hard time in the morning. Uh, sugared cranberry. Yes, I mean, those two things are nice. Juniper sprigs. I, I don't... Uh, yeah, I get that. Uh, sparkling clove. I don't know if I get that, but what this reminds me of, as I get it all in my nose, it's one of those like amalgamated 
false, um, it says fall feeling, but really as you're heading really close into the holiday season, because it, it, it reads like a, like a daytime getting your Christmas presents wrapped kind of holiday sent to me. Like a bright, like it's sunny outside and you know, I guess technically that's still the fall season, but this is a late fall season or, or an early, I mean, I don't know. There's something about it that reminds me of the holidays. So I'm um, not, not overly strong. So I do wrap my gifts in Drew's room. So <laughs> maybe that's where I'm going to have to warm it, but uh, frosted cedar. Oh God, is there sage in this? I hope not. Every time I see this color, I get nervous. Okay. Red delicious. Red Delicious Apples adorns towering white cedar in a blanket of creamy vanilla. I love vanilla and I'm okay with apple. Cedar, I'm pretty good with, but I'm nervous of the color. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is nice, but I'm not finding it very strong. <laughs> I feel like there's a trend. I'm so sorry. It's very nice, but it's definitely closer to light for me. I'm going to break the bar breaking the bar I want it to be pristine yeah I think because it says white cedar I really don't know if I get the apple to me if the apple is in there it's just adding like a like a fruity vibe but not like an obvious apple or anything like that it's more like I wouldn't really say red delicious something very like a gentle style apple so this is nice but um light oh my gosh here we go I'm, I feel like I'm going so slow Frosty Air is a nice blue colored wax and it's very bright. So these type of scents are typically like leaning after the holidays into that like time. I don't know where to warm, what to warm. It says sweet citrus and lily of the valley stay fresh in a fluffy or sorry, in a flurry of frosty air. I, I need glasses. All right, here we go. Yeah, this what this smells like one of those um, crisp air, clean holiday scents that you could warm in a laundry room because it has that laundry room lean. Some of those crisp air scents tend to come across minty. No, I don't get that. But this one leads into laundry. So keep that in mind because they can go in different paths. And I think what's bringing that into the laundry is the lily of the valley. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is a nice wintry laundry room type scent for me. Maybe a bathroom, but more laundry room. All right, and I would say intensity was about just shy of medium. So far, none of these have been very strong. Golden Garland. This one is a yellow front with like a mustard, dark mustard colored wax. Forest pine needles intertwined with marigold petals. Sparkling orange twist and a touch of golden musk. I'm just gonna say I, I'm, I'm not really excited about this one. It just doesn't sound like a Patricia kind of scent, but. Um, it reminds me of like a woody version of Scarlet Sunflower. I can definitely get the pine needles. That is about like at least maybe 30, 40%. And then I get like a floral warm kind of scent to it. Yeah, this is this is um, about a medium intensity. Uh, I'm not so jive, like excited about that one. All right, the next one is everybody's wanting to smell because it's the only bakery in the new releases and so we're excited to get something it says make me snickerdoodle homemade cookie dough sweetened with brown sugar and vanilla bean rolled in sugared cinnamon and baked to perfection so we have a cookie dough base that they've got talking about brown sugar vanilla and cinnamon yeah that's i mean it smells like a a bakery that's <laughs> got brown sugar vanilla and cinnamon yeah there's something different on the bottom I can't, there's something different on the bottom that's not listed here. Something's a little toasty roasty on the bottom. Almost like you, did you leave your snickerdoodle in the oven too long? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, that bottom. I'm gonna break it, I'm gonna break it. I don't know about this one, guys, I don't know. I'm gonna have to warm this one, but there's something on there that on the bottom I smell like toasty, little bit leaning towards too much caramelized brown sugar, but I don't really get that any other time I smell it. So I don't know, we'll see. That was about um, a medium-ish, maybe a little lighter than medium. 
Okay, we have Midnight Mahogany. This is in the woods category. We have a brown wax with a brown front. It says Juicy Black Plum and Cinnamon Leaf Brighten Up Dark Mahogany on a Secluded Moonlight Stroll. So this, um, okay. Um, it's almost like a, a, lead, a masculine version of cashmere leaves a little bit. Let me smell. Oh, I like I like cashmere leaves a lot. I think I'm getting, what does this say? Black plum I do not get. Cinnamon leaf. Cinnamon leaf is different than cinnamon. Uh, maybe. Um, there's something else that had cinnamon leaf. Was it autumn stroll? I don't know. Uh, dark mahogany, I would say yes. There's probably a vanilla in here a little bit too, to kind of round it out. If I smell this, this is what I often think when I smell these, like just on first sniffs. If I was at a candle store and I picked it up and smelled it, would I buy it? Because I make split decisions when I, if I'm gonna invest in a candle, because it sometimes takes a long time to get through a candle. And I know, Scentsy Consultant, no flame, blah, blah, blah. But um, if you're a wax addict, you know. This one I would pass because it's just not one that I like on cold sniff, but again, you have to warm things to see because sometimes they can change. So we have two more. We have Palo Santo and Cinnamon. This is in the woods category as well. So we have a creamy colored front and a um, like a uh, off-white golden color tan back. Palo Santo energizes Italian bergamot accented with clove leaf and cinnamon bark. So we have a lot of like leaf <laughs> with spices, not necessarily always the spice. Now since these Palo Santo was not well um, received by the Scentsy community. <laughs> so we'll see if the Palo Santo and Cinnamon is a little different. I don't have any of that to smell against. Uh, this is nice. I, I'm not like opposed to it. It's it's a woodsy. There's definitely spices. I smell something very pleasant on the bottom. Um. It smells bright kind of on the bottom. The top smells kind of gentle like the Palo Santo. Maybe it's the bergamot I'm smelling on the bottom. That's got to be what it is. This one is um, much better than I thought it was going to be, but I don't know if I like love it. But it's okay. It's, it's one that I would picture in a... This is going to sound so stupid. Like a middle-aged man during the day, like what he would smell like. Like he kind of smells like nice and pleasant and he smells like maybe he's someone's grandfather, but not like really a really old grandfather. He's like a nice grandfather, like, <laughs> you know, a younger version. And you're going to Grampy's for the day and this one he smell like. Like a woodsy, slightly spicy, slightly cologne but well-rounded and not like I'm trying to pick up a woman kind of smell, okay? All right, now we have Red Currant Wreath. This is the most beautiful color red, and someone did mention to me that there was a cardinal on here, and yes. So this one is in the spice category. It says red currant and winter berries spice up interwoven evergreen and sandalwood branches. Red currant, winter berries, evergreen, sandalwood. <laughs> no spice, no spice mentioned, but it's in the spice, so we'll see, I'm sure. The thing is, the reason I'm doing this video early, like really, we have to wait another three weeks for these scents, so really, do we need to all talk about them already? But I just want to hear what other people say so I can watch their videos because I tend not to watch any videos. The only ones that I've seen are with box videos and I haven't really seen even very many of those. So, Man, every scent seems light to me. <laughs> Is there something wrong with me? Okay, this is red currant, winter berries, Evergreen sandalwood. Yes, and there is an underlying spice. But this is not as good to me as Be Merry. It's not as good as like a Christmas cottage. But there is more complexity and it's less, like there's definitely fruit. There's definitely woods. There's definitely spice. So they probably said, well, what we need to put this in a category. Well, let's put spice. But I can smell evergreen. I can smell a little bit of sandalwood. I can smell like a juicy red berry, not so much red currant, but the winter berries for sure. And like a blanket of gentle, a mixture of spices. I think if you like scents, like, I don't even know. Mm, I mean, it's not like Cozy Fireside, it's not that spicy. 
It's it's not as fruity as like a Be Merry. It's not like red berry and spruce. I like that better. Um, I don't know. This is this the jury's out for me. I think I prefer definitely the Harvest Collection bars, and I definitely liked Dashing quite a bit. So I'm I'm happy about that. And yeah, the rest I'm gonna have to warm and see. So I'm sorry I rambled on. Let me know if you want that video with the really short video. If not, I'll just be content to put those items away. If you like scentsy videos, hit the thumbs up. If you wanna hear more about these scents, stay tuned for Tester Tuesday. We will be covering the first three of these scents coming up soon. Take care, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.